Alrighty, I'm done with my morning clients. Now it's time for me to get my workout in. Today's workout, we're gonna do some cable work on back. So some back work, we're gonna do some pull downs, some barbell rows in, whatever else I come up to mind. So I'm kind of freestyling this workout. I've done this workout last week a little bit and I'm trying different variations because just working on building up my back. But we're gonna first start off with some pull-ups. So I was always told to, if you wanna master your pull-ups and to get a stronger back, is to master pull-ups, right? So I try to do at least one pull-up per day. I'm up to at least two, so let's see how many I can get. Now, I don't take uh, too many pre-workout powders or powders like, if any. And so in my pre-workout, some almonds. I already have my coffee for today, so about a handful of almonds. So that'll give me enough energy I need for this workout. I got three, so now I'm gonna go do some cable work. Let's go. All right, so what I'm getting ready to do, I'm gonna do some kneeling, a wide grip, pull downs. I'm gonna go kneeling, seated, and then standing. I'm just really been trying to work on stretching out my back and feeling my, my back muscles, my lats. And so what I'm doing right here, I'm just bringing this down like so. I'm gonna use this chair as an anchor. And I'm just gonna pull down about 12 reps. Come down all the way down to your chest. Stretch all the way up. Six, seven, I'm squeezing as I'm pulling down. Eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. All right, slow on the release. All right, that felt pretty good. Now we're gonna go with seated, wide grip, pull downs. I'm not going too heavy. We got about 135 on here. And I'm just mainly doing this for conditioning for my back. Just get my back familiar with pulling the weight. So, so squeeze, let's stretch, 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 stretch. Two, three, four, five. I don't try to rock too much when I'm doing this. Seven, eight, and just going straight up and down. Ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, so now I'm going with the wide grip, standing pull downs. I'm still working on my form, trying to get a feel far as for exactly where I'm pulling at or pulling from or not leaning, leaning in too much. Just trying to, you know, just be natural with it. All right, so these far for me, I try to put one foot in front of the other. The chest is out, and we're just going to pull down. One, two. It's really kind of tough to not let it drop like I just did right there. So keeping that constant tension on your back. Eight, nine, ooh, ooh, and 12. Changing the handles on here. Now we're going to replicate what we just did, but with the close grip. I'm really, really been subscribing to this this grip lately. So close grips. I'm really trying to bring my width in. You know, I don't I don't want to be so wide, but you know, I want to look nice, right? So how to condition and build your back up the right way. So we're gonna kneel again. So just come down like so. And just let it hang. Let it hang. Let it hang. So the goal is to try to get it beneath your chest. Like so. One, I didn't get it down right there, but you kind of got to do it with the weight kind of selling you. Two, there you go. Three, there you go. Four, five, six, stretch, seven, stretch, eight, stretch, nine, ten, eleven, oh, 
and 12. All right, that felt good. All right, so now we're gonna go with a close grip seated pull down. All right, so I like to keep this, this pad right here fairly tight so my body is just secure and locked in. And I'm stretching, 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 leaning back. I want to bring this to my chest. Oh, one, two. Keep your back straight. Don't rock too much. Four, or at all. Five. Six. Take your time with it. Seven. Eight. There you go. Nine. Ten. Eleven. One more. Ooh. And twelve. All right. That felt good. Now we're going to go with the standing close grip pull downs. So now this one, this one is a little bit tougher from my experiences. The standing close grip pull down. So again, like how we did with the wide grips, try to put one foot in front of you so you get some type of stabilization until you're able to be fully stabilized. You don't have to put one foot forward. But that's what I do because I'm still working on it. So again, it's almost like half reps. So don't try to let this thing or let the bars lock out like so. Or let the weight drop. Sorry about that. So you're going to bring it in like so, coming down your chest. And if you can, pull it underneath your chest. Get warmed up. Six, seven, eight. Hopefully, I didn't miscount. Eight. I do eight again. Nine. Ooh. 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 All right. So those were two different grips: wide grips and closed grips. Did 12 reps, 12 on the ground, 12 sitting, and 12 standing up. Both wide and closed grip. Now, I'm gonna move over to some prone bent over barbell rows. All right, so what we're gonna do here is some prone underhanded barbell rows. Being that my hands are so long, I got this hanging off the, off the platform like so, just to give me a little bit more range of motion. So I'm gonna scoop this back just a tad bit. All right, so. And this is a different different type of workout I've been experimenting with lately because I like doing bent over barbell rows, but I don't like the pressure that I put on my lower back. So until I can strengthen my lower back, I would suggest you do this also. So, just making sure everything is lined up right. I don't use clamps when the weight, when the weight is too light. I don't know, just kind of one of them things I always try to test my balance. So, try to make sure my feet are flat and I'm hanging right over, right over here. I'm gonna put my head up like so. Underhand grip, check my form. Nice, right here. Now I'm just gonna lift up. One, two, three. My warm up reps out of the way. Now I'm gonna move right into 225 right now. All right, so we've got 225 on here. This has been challenging for the past couple couple weeks. I've been trying this out. I want to work up to 20 reps, but I'm getting kind of stuck at maybe about 12. Never been a heavy uh, bent over barbell growth type of person, but I'm working on it. Cause I've really been trying to focus on and getting some power on my, my back and my lats. All right. So what's kind of helping me is my, is my stance with all of this. I don't like having my, being on my tippy toes like so and like that. Try to keep my feet flat. And again, I got this off the platform when I'm rolling, so I get full range of motion. So let's see what I can get. Oh. Two. Yeah. 
three, let it stretch. Four, five, six, that but that's what we go for so I got 15 reps they're a good one the last three kind of raised my back a little bit which I've been trying to prevent that and recruit my lower back I'm just trying to just work my lats so underhand so I kind of cheat a little bit because your biceps anytime you do underhand rows so just with that being said we'll do one more set maybe two see where it goes from there all right so Decided I'm gonna do one more set at 225, then I'm gonna jump up to 275. Did 275 last week and I struggled with it, so let's see where I'm at today. I just finished 15 reps on my first set. Let's drop the reps. So it won't fatigue out because I wanna go for 275. So I'm gonna go for 10. So we're gonna go for 10 reps from this time. The microphone came out. All right. Again, underhand. Try to stay over the bench. Feet flat, just like you were doing in the regular underhanded barbell row. Alright. One, two, don't raise your back. Three. Four, all the way up. Five. Keep your elbows close. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Alright, that felt pretty good. Now, gonna go up to two. 75. So I add two quarters on each side and go from there. Alright, so now we got 275 here. And like I said, last week I did it, but I didn't do my reps clean enough far for me. So let's see where I'm at today. <clears throat> So again, anytime you're going up for weight, sometimes we all have a tendency to change our form. But I'm trying to stay true to my form and don't psych myself out. Let's see where we're at. That felt good. A lot better than what I did last week. I feel like I'm a, I am got one more set left in me for five more reps. Let's go for it. All right, this is our second set at 275. Wanted to go to 295. My goal eventually is a rep 315. But let's just see what we can just stay constant with our reps. All right. felt pretty good so two sets of 275 a lot cleaner than what I did last week feeling good about that now we're going to finish off with some isolation dumbbell rows 85s here put one leg in back of you back straight like so and we're going to roll from the hip we're going for 12 reps on the stretch. Leather. And twirl. Alright. Now we're going to switch sides. Again, going with 12 reps. Foot back. Let it hang. And we roll. my first set. I'm going to do all together three. I'm going to try to climb up for the 90 pounds, see what I can do. Let's work. Let's go.
myself, but I'm feeling good for the jump up on the next set. to get your water in. We're gonna jump up to these 100 pound dumbbells. And again, just pull, let it hang, let it hang, and pull.